What is going on YouTube? My name is Aris, also known as Forward Flips on this channel, and today my girlfriend and I are gonna hit up the Goodwill bin. So let's see if we can find some really cool stuff and flip it online for a profit. All right, so just arrived at the bins. Let's see what's in store for us today. Oh, do they really? What's up, big man? Pretty good. Are you vlogging now? Yeah, I'm vlogging now. So I'm starting off the day strong so i have no idea if these are real but regardless these are literally literally torn apart so i'm definitely not going to get these but these are definitely interesting i mean they do they do say like easy yzy on this side and then they have the adidas logo over here but they're completely torn up i think if these are real they wouldn't be t completely torn up like this and then i did find one croc if i can find the matching pair for this this would be good so we just found our first really big score of the day so it's this pc gaming adapter it's from radio shack and it's actually brand new i know it looks a little like dirty but i could definitely wipe it off and make this look really clean and take a look it's sold in the past on december 17th for 50 dollars plus shipping on top there's only two listed, but they're both in pre-owned condition. So even if I just clean this up a little bit, I could still sell it for probably like 30 to 40 bucks and it's only gonna cost me around 25 to 50 cents. So insane score. So I just scanned through all these games and I didn't find anything. Let me know if you guys see anything that I missed. They're all like two bucks over here up at the counter. And then they've got some like gaming controllers, but I don't really have a need for it. Is that a loose copy of Resident Evil? Okay, so I just looked this up and this is good for like seven bucks plus shipping on eBay. Huh, two sealed CDs. Take a look at this guys. This German CD is selling for 24 bucks on Amazon. So I'd be making 16 bucks after fees. It's only gonna cost me like a quarter. Let's just round it down to like $15 in profit. The ranking is 497,000, which is a little bit high, but it does have 70 reviews on it. So it's definitely gonna sell. I just don't know how long it will take. This is a pretty decent find for like 15 to 20 cents. And we'll see this guy too. See what this is coming up as, 238. Only seven bucks, I'm gonna pass on this one. Plus the ranking is 5.4 million, so it wouldn't sell anyway. <laughs> another loose game. So this is like another seven to eight bucks. Let me just find like a replacement case for it. Um... Here we go, I can use this guy right here. So I'll take this CD right here out. Put a nice little Tekken 3 in there. And now this is what we got so far for today. I just found a Dunkin' gift card, but it's probably empty. Imagine if there was money on here. I mean, the pen's never been scratched, so maybe I'll check it out later and see. So I just found this guy. It's a Magnavox MWD2205, and they're currently selling for like 70 to 80 bucks on eBay right now, but without the controller, they're still selling for like 40 bucks. I mean, it is a little bit of dirty, but like the inside looks absolutely clean, and I think I can just wipe this off and get this to work. This would probably cost me around maybe three to four bucks. Actually, you know what? The back is kind of like, you know what? This could just be dust though. Yeah, you know what? That's literally just dust. This could like easily be clean. So it's probably gonna cost me like four to five bucks. So I probably can get like $40 plus shipping on it on eBay. I'm definitely gonna try to find the controller for it though. Kind of like sticker price. Yeah, like this sticker right here is what Goodwill was originally selling it for. Like Got it. the regular Goodwills. Right. This is everything in here is by the weight. Oh, so like everything in here, like the clothing and this is 99 cents a pound. The glassware I think is like maybe 50 cents to a dollar i don't remember exactly oh, and then the books and vhs tapes are 25 cents each and the shoes are like a dollar 50. so everything Shut averages okay, out to like a dollar a pound all right so i just found this very interesting pair of converse right here it says converse cons i looked inside the tag to see if it was made in usa but it's made in vietnam if you guys didn't know made in usa converse sell for a lot of money but i can't really find anything on these i can't find this kind of style the only thing wrong is that it does have this back here but i mean i don't think that's a really big issue i could probably clean these shoes up really really nice i think i could get like 30 to 40 dollars plus shipping probably spend like two to three bucks on them here they do have replacement insoles in them though because like it has a pair of Brooks insoles, but I still think this could be good. I've never seen a colorway like this. This would probably do good on Mercari. And I thought I got these Brooks too, but it's a shame that one of these literally has a hole in it up here. Not sure if you guys can see that on the camera, but it does have a hole right over here. And then these are just way too dirty. 
I don't feel like taking the time to clean these. Wow guys, ask and you shall receive. I just found another pair of Brooks, but these are in way better condition. And these are selling for like $40 plus shipping. They just need a little bit of cleaning. I don't think there's anything wrong. I mean, I don't see anything. Like there's no holes, no tears on this one or this one. So, wow, it's crazy how similar these are to the other ones. But sweet, this is probably like another, at least $30 plus shipping. So my girlfriend thinks it's funny to call me Italian now because my ancestry DNA test came back that I was 25% Italian. After doing some more research on the Converse, I think I'm gonna pass on them. The comps are only like 30 to 40 bucks and they just have like this flaw back here. They do have the insoles that are different. So like, I don't know. I think I'll just pass on them and I don't know if they'll really be able to clean nicely either. Let me know if I'm making a mistake. Eight twenty-three, you said. Yep. Thank you. All right, guys. So that was a pretty solid haul. Altogether, I spent around eight bucks, and I'll make my money back on just one of the games alone. So that's pretty sweet. So even if this doesn't end up working after cleaning it up, this is still selling for twenty-five dollars plus shipping on top for parts only. So let's just say twenty-five bucks there. So the Resident Evil's around seven bucks, and then the Tekken's around eight. So that's another 15 bucks. So it's at 40 plus 15 in profit on that CD. So that's 55. Let's just say conservatively on this guy after cleaning it up, let's just say 30. And then I think on the Brooks down there, I should be able to get like at least 30 to 40 plus shippings. So I just turned eight bucks into around $110 in sales, which is a really, really great way to start off the day. And they're actually kicking people out now and they're about to do another change of the bins, which is really exciting. I do want to show you guys this though. So I went to Marshall's last night and I picked up this city of flight jordan hat and it was only 13 bucks original price tag of 32 but this is actually really rare and it's selling for like 40 to 50 dollars on ebay so i just thought i'd show you that fine from last night and don't forget about this guy i'm gonna check if there's any money on this with my girlfriend later on in this video all right well it's time to watch some games while i wait for the switch got the nice little man united game going on Here we go, here's some media. <laughs> Sony USB. Huh, mini binoculars. Huh, this is a really nice London fog jacket, size XL. It's pretty nice. As you guys can see, I have a whole cart full of like media. I'm just gonna go through and scan it all afterwards though and let you guys know which ones are profitable and which ones aren't. Nice little 128 gigabyte USB. So first off, I found these two Spider-Man VHS tapes. So I think, I'm not sure which one is which, but I know one of them sells for 13 and the other sells for seven bucks. So they're gonna be 25 cents each, but I think I'm gonna actually grab this extra Spider-Man, even though it's worth only a dollar, two bucks on eBay, and just put a bundle up for like 20, 25 bucks for the three VHS tapes and just see how it goes. And I'm not sure if you guys knew this, but there's actually a ton of value in some of these Blue Clues VHS tapes. I've sold plenty of them before in the past. This is like a 14 to 15 dollar VHS tape. So this is pretty sweet for only 25 cents. And I know I have a few more Blue Clues too. So if I wanted to, I could even bundle them up. Huh, another interesting VHS tape, Rough Riders. And it actually sold last month on eBay for 20 free ships. I'm gonna pick this up too. And then this is a super easy flip. This is like at least 10 bucks plus shipping on top. See these Blue's Clues ones, I'm telling you, they have value. This one's 10 bucks plus shipping, only 25 cents into 10 bucks. You guys remember this show? I grew up watching this one. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? This is pretty lightweight and this is good for 10 bucks plus shipping. It's a Sony USB for like a handy cam camera or a cyber shot, I don't really know. But anyways, 10 bucks is 10 bucks. I think this one's good for like a solid seven to eight bucks wow very interesting so there's definitely money to be made in binoculars so this model is the world star model ysc-124 and it's sold in the past for 20 plus shipping 35 free shipping and 38 plus shipping on ebay so definitely pretty interesting so definitely keep an eye out for binoculars i know some binoculars can actually go for upwards of hundreds of dollars just depends on how old it is and the brand honestly so this is a tv show called the wire and it's the complete series in here but unfortunately 
unfortunately, it only has seasons 4, 3, 2, and 5, so it's missing season number 1. But it would have been able to sell for like $25 to $30 plus shipping, so unfortunately I just can't find the other season. And this is a really nice London Fog Jacket, but I'm going to pass on this because the sell-through rate really isn't that great on it. It's not selling that often at all. And now I just have this bag of like transformers and stuff to go through. I have no idea what I'm dealing with here. Wait, this is cool. This thing spins it. What the heck? Google Lens this, see if we can find it. Optimus Prime. So like a model number on this? 2002 Hasbro. So let's just search 2002 Optimus Prime. This is vintage now. 2002 Optimus Prime. Is is this it? With the spin thing? No, that's a truck. So I don't really know how much this guy's going for. If you guys do know anything about this, please let me know in the comments down below. I think he's worth around like 20 bucks maybe. But then this guy, I have no idea because he literally spins from this thing. So this has got to be rare, right? He's going through these Nikes and... They're in decent enough. Sh they're in decent enough shape. I would have picked them up, but I can't find a size tag anywhere. So it's like, how am I supposed to look at the style code or even know the size? Plus, buyers do not trust that. So I'm not going to pick up anything without a size tag unless it's something super duper expensive. Six, seven, nine VHS. Four seventy-seven for all that. Yep. This is pretty sweet. I got all this whole entire bag for five bucks, just under five bucks actually. And I should be able to turn it to just over a hundred dollars in sales. And that's without the transformers. I have no idea about the value on the transformers. I'm thinking maybe 30 bucks altogether between both of them, but I have no idea. So I'm going to leave it out of the estimate completely. So let's just say we turn five bucks into a nice cheeky little hundred dollars. Wait, that's actually really cool. Wait, let me see it. Did you look this up? See, look, Disney, Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, I saw one selling for 65, but I don't know if it sold already and if there's more for like higher or lower. I mean, either but way, this either is way, really interesting. Yeah. I found an Ikea bag. Yeah, I could tell. Yeah, you're, you're an official reseller now. You found some like good stuff. Thing. Yeah, no, I found really Wait, good Wait, this, even the hat is nice too, like the Disney no, hat. No, I know. Look, Victoria's Secret. How much you spend on all this? 25. Nice. Oh, I found a Patagonia uh, fanny pack. That's nice. Did you look these up? like 25, 30. Jesus. Plus you, you killed it. just go through everything and see what happens because this place is absolutely jam-packed look at how many people are in here today all right guys so here's our first really good find of the day so this is going to be around 20 to 25 cents the cheapest copy right now is selling for 50 dollars plus shipping on top and it's in new other condition this isn't in perfect condition but i'm still thinking to be able to get like 25 to 30 dollars plus shipping on top on this dvd i mean it's only ever sold in the like it's sold in the past for like 10 dollars plus shipping but with 13 bids so that shows me that there is like some type of demand on here but then it's also sold for 100 dollars plus shipping brand new so i think 25 dollars plus shipping maybe even 20 is a very reasonable estimate to get on this dvd so apparently the footage for this section got corrupted so i'm going to do a quick little voiceover basically and i picked up these items right here the dvds are anywhere between five to ten dollars in profit each those shoes the basketball shoes are probably going to net me around 30 to 40 dollars after fees this hat i think it was worth around five to ten bucks honestly i don't really remember but the jabalani ball that's going to be another 15 to 20 dollars it's size one it's from the fifa world cup in south africa if it were actually like bit brand new even though it's a size one it would have been like a hundred dollars plus shipping and then i just picked up a pair of nikes which i'm going to be able to make a decent little bit amount of money on too which is actually really nice but anyways let's move on with this video you guys are not going to miss what happens next to hear the balance or transaction history on the Duncan or Baskin Robbins card, press 2. For all other callers, please remain. Let's book up your gift card balance. We'll ask you for your 16 digit gift card number. Your balance is $10. <laughs> 
So that was definitely a fun little surprise, a good way to end off the day. So my girlfriend and I just got back from the Goodwill bins. I didn't really say the overall profit for the last bag, but it's one of those bags back there. And I would say it's probably going to be around like another hundred bucks again. So in total, I spent around $15 today. I think it was like maybe like 17 bucks. And in total, I'm going to be making around $300 on my return from sales. So then I would say after cost of goods and fees, we're looking around an estimated conservative $200 in profit. It could be around $250 and it also depends on the Transformers as well. But anyways, that's going to wrap up the video for you guys today. The sun is literally in my face. But anyways, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Peace.